So we are going to be seeing how to transform this table from the way it is now to what we have here on our screen. Many times in your office place or your workplace, you are giving some kind of data that looks like a table like this to deal with. You have some of the data joined together and you begin to wonder how do you go from here? Hello everyone, welcome to Microsoft Excel Made Easy. So if you notice from this table, you notice that the data is actually joined together. So the dates join to the name and you have this column C, no header at all, no kind of formatting at all. Everything is in general. I guess this is currency. So we are going to be working on this table. So the first thing you have to do is to make sure that the columns are separated to have their own different data. So how do you do that? Now, when I click on this particular cell A2, you notice that it has the date and the name of the staff. So for this first cell A1, it has the date separated and I have the name of the user separated. So one thing I need to do is to match these two cells. But I cannot go ahead to match it because they contain separate sets of what data. Now see what will happen if I want to match it. And I hit what match and center. It will bring up this error. Is all right. So in order to avoid this error, one thing I need to do is to copy one of the data, either the date or the name, copy it and keep it here. We'll eventually use it later. Now go ahead to match the two. So you notice that I've lost one of the data. Is all right, which is the name, but I already have it saved here. Now the next thing you also have to do is to now go ahead to select the whole cell using Control Shift and down arrow key the merge and center everything is all right so now you now have column a separated from column b then you can now go ahead to click here and resize so for many of us that don't know what i just did just bring your mouse to where a and b intersect double click and it will resize accordingly or you can drag manually to resize now we'll have to separate this particular data into the names and the dates. How do we do that? We'll use the Excel feature, the text to column feature. But before we can use the text to column feature, one thing I always do is to add new columns to the right of that particular column that I want to separate from. So I insert new column and I insert new column. So you can insert up to two, three, depending on how many set of data that you want to separate. So having done that, I select the whole column, head straight to the menu tab data, then you should see text to columns. Click on it and it will bring up this wizard. So it says or well, the text to column has determined that your data is delimited. So it's smart enough to determine that. So most times you don't touch anything in this first screen. So just hit what next. Now also notice that what is says or this screen lets you set the limiter. So the limiters can be comma, it can be semicolon, it can be space. So look at the data preview and see how it has separated our dates from the names. Is all right. So this can be first name and surname ideally. So if you untick the space, you notice that everything comes back together as it is. So ticking the space and it gives you this. So hit next and to bring it to this screen that says or this screen lets you to set each column and set the data format so this you can set the data format to what date and also notice that you also have more options to choose whether it is what month day and year or day month and year as the case may be so in this case it's month day and year because visually looking at the data you notice that the month is coming first before the date. After I've done that, go ahead to set this as what text. Then this also as what text. And once you are through, you hit what finish. So you can also have the opportunity to select the destination where you want to insert your data. Now, the destination where I want to insert my data in this case is A1. So it's going to overwrite everything that is here and replace it with new content. Then other content that overflow it to replace it into column B and column C. So I can also decide to select my destination and put what 
B1. Is that right? And hit enter. So I hit what? Finish. And it says what? There's already data here. Do you want to replace it? So you can hit OK. And you have this as this. We've succeeded in doing one thing. In separating our dates from the names. Now you can go ahead to add the data that you copied before now. And add it back to the data base. So you have Caro Adams. So I'm just going to type it as it is. So Caro Adams. Is that right? And you have that as that. Now we are going to insert headers to this particular database. So I'm going to click on the first row, right click, then hit on what? Insert. So I'm going to call this raw. <laughs> We're eventually going to delete it. Then this is date. Then the next one is F name. F for first. Then the next one is what? L name or s name or son name or last name as the case may be then this one should be products or materials then this one should be sales is all right so this definitely should be currency now i notice that definitely we've succeeded in formatting this as text or general as the case may be this also formatted as date this general so how do we format this as what currency or accounting? If you go ahead to just hit the dollar sign here, you notice that it will just make it smaller. You cannot actually see the dollar sign. Also coming here, clicking here, you notice that what it says what convert number, number stored as text and all that. So this data set is actually stored as text. So how do we change everything in such a way that once you click this, it will add the dollar sign for you by default so one thing is to actually make sure that you convert this to number then hit the dollar sign but supposing you have to do this for 100 items it will not be efficient enough so we are going to be using our text to column feature once again so select the whole of this by hitting ctrl shift and your down arrow key head straight to what data then Hit on text to columns and it brings up this for you. So we're actually working with one column. So apparently what you're going to be doing here is just hit next, next, next until you hit get to what finish. And it will convert everything to you. Now you can now go ahead under the home menu tab, click on your dollar sign. I notice that a dollar sign will come up. So I can easily format painter to add the formatting to all this and each of them will have their own dollar sign accordingly how about that is that not super super easy is okay and it's now formatted as accounting now the next thing we'll do having done that is to format the entire data into a table so press ctrl on your keyboard and t and it will bring up this for you and it says what my table has headers of course so you hit ok and it does this for you now the next thing we we'll have to do is also to increase the font of this is that right so i'm going to increase the font now to maybe something like this maybe 14 is all right then i'll bold it make it bold so i'm going to select the whole of this all right then I'm going to increase the font also. Okay. Then um, I think this is good. So the next thing I'm going to do is to delete this particular column because I don't need it anymore. Is that right? Then I can now go ahead to resize this to look more neater. So we've succeeded to some extent invariably. In making our data look more presentable so if you actually want it to look exactly like this you can just select the whole worksheet double click on any of this and it should look exactly as what you have there hope you got value in this video so this can actually help you to speed up workflow and avoid unnecessary workload in the office is all right especially when you have to deal with shitty looking set of data that looks like a table support our channel by 
subscribing to our youtube channel also like and share this video go ahead to watch the video on your screen now that shows you how to use the vlookup function in microsoft excel excel made easy